Welcome to another big installment of Ring of Honor Women's Division Wednesday. I'm Lenny Leonard. And tonight we have the opportunity once again for a competitor to shine as she looks to impress enough to pick up a ticket to gold for this summer's tournament. However, it won't be easy for Alex Gracia as she faces the debuting Gia Scott. Gia has been very successful on the independent scene and she herself is looking to stand out. After the match, ROH board member Maria Canellis bennett will distribute our next ticket to gold, but first, we head to the ring as Alex Gracia takes on Gia Scott. Welcome everyone to Ring of Honor's Women's Division Wednesday in Riccoboni Caprice Coleman and member of the ROH Board of Directors, Maria Canellis bennett We're seeing two athletes who have been requested by fans all over the world compete here today. This is an ROH Women's Division Wednesday match, set for one ball with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring, wrestling out of Baltimore, Maryland, Gia Scott. My name is Gia Scott, and I am the greatest damn woman. And you're probably wondering, what makes you so great? If I'm not the greatest, then who's going to be? I survived my mom passing away, I survived taking care of my brother, and I survived being homeless. All that is just another jewel for my crown. And I personally deserve to be in this quest for gold. Hell, I'm the best woman in that Ring of Honor dojo. So I damn well better be here, okay? This is my queendom. This is my chance. And if any one of you want to take it from me, I dare you. Why me? And it's quite the contrast because Gia, very calm, cool, collected, very determined. And then you see this colorful explosion exploding her way into the Ring of Honor women's division. Her opponent, wrestling out of San Antonio, Texas, the Pink Dream, Alex Gracia. Hey everyone, so my name's Alex Gracia and I'm the Pink Dream. And there's a lot about the Pink Dream that you may notice about me. Yes, I may be pink, I may be girly, I may be feminine, but I am so, so, so much more than that. I'm here to fight for my spot on this women's roster and I'm here to fight for my spot in this tournament because this is my quest for gold. And everyone I have to face to get there you're about to experience what pink dreams are made of. We see referee Becky Phillips here, our official for this bout. Code of Honor at here to. You see the height difference. He said, that's your Code of Honor. Mm. Gia Scott, of course, will have the strength advantage of well as well. Gia Scott, one of the strongest female competitors we will see here in this division. Gia Scott is in control right now. Ooh, reversed by Gracia. There's a lot of leverage she was using yeah. there. And Gracia tried to do a uh, arm drag with mm -hmm. that. Gia wouldn't go with it. What you got, huh, Pink Dream? What you got? Hmm? Oh, so much attitude coming out of Gia right now. It's good, man. You got people that, that have confidence and they tell people to tone it back, and other people have confidence and they skyrocket. I love it. Well, Scott, Scott had to live fast growing up. She grew up fast. Like we said, she survived homelessness. Yeah. She also had to raise her brother of a very young age. Um, she was five years old when her mom was going to work, and she was taking care of a three-year-old. Yeah. yeah. That makes you grow up so fast. Absolutely. The responsibility that is put on you. And everyone's journey is a little bit different. Gracia is a graduate from Texas A&M University. A degree in broadcasting. A and M, Texas A and M. Whoa, man. respect! <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> she was to play softball. Okay. Like we said, she demand all over the world, including stardom and CMLL. Mm -hmm. Her look is so unique. <laughs> Greco Roman knuckle lock here. Gia Scott though has that leverage advantage strength advantage. And she knows it too, and she's able to get Gracia in those positions to where Gracia's fighting Gia's game plan. Alex got the quickness. 
And she's got the advantage that Gia's going to think that she's not going to be as strong. She's going to think that she can take advantage in that way. But Alex has other techniques. Nice. Oh. And that's a technique, trapping the leg. That's a good strategy now. She's, she's, she's using, ooh. Oh, look at that. Putting more pressure onto the knee, make it go left to right instead of forward and back as it's intended. It's the game plan. She needs to play. It's power versus technique. Right under the kneecap, into the hamstring. It's Gracia. It's got a swing and a miss, and now Gracia on the working. It's working. It's working. Stick and move here. Springboard off the ropes. Nice. Hurricane Rana. Tell you what, if she didn't have her weak enough, she would not have been able to complete that. Sits out, drop kick, sends Scott to the outside. Come on, Gia, bring it back to the ring. Ah, what Let's you go, bring Gia? it back in. So now Gia's going to have to dig deep and see, can she work past the power? Because she can't rely on it. Oh. Wow! Using gravity right there. Yeah. Coming down hard. That's what pink dreams are made of. Dude. You talked about being the girly girl and she wanted to show the world that you could be an athlete, you could be a girly girl, you can wear the pink, you could be bedazzled. She's doing it right here. She just told Gia, you're going to take me seriously. Yeah, and it's funny. Gia was doing the talking at the beginning. Now, Crushy is talking. I don't believe none of this, though. Uh -uh. I don't believe that. Yeah. I knew it. Oh. Yeah. Old school still works. Swinging neck yeah. breaker from Scott. Hooks the leg. Two! Just a two count there. Staying in control, determined. Mounting Gracia here. Referee Becky Phillips in there to break things up. Gracia was in a defenseless position at that point. Great call by referee Becky Phillips. She is showing frustration. I hope she's able to tunnel it to do what she needs to do and not oh, put herself in a danger zone. And again, using that power to drive that shoulder through the midsection, pushing all that oxygen right out. Okay, she's staying with it. She's trying to wear her yep, down. She's wearing her down. Grabs the wrist, side Russian leg sweep. It's the second high impact to the neck that she's given. Rolls her over, hooks the leg. Two. Two count there. Both of these women given their all. They know it's an opportunity to be here in Ring of Honor. They know that there is the quest for gold. We've had some great women in this division. I appreciate the women. Like, you handpicked these women. And, and and I see why. We saw the very first ticket go to Rock C for the tournament. Uh -huh. Angelina Love defeating Quinn McKay on Ring of Honor television, mm -hmm. punching her ticket. And she's got a buy. Wow. And these are two debuts, two highly anticipated stars coming to the Ring of Honor women's division. We have a few more in the next couple of weeks. You're going to keep it locked in on YouTube.com slash Ring of Honor. It's amazing how these women have been able to continue to grow in their wrestling ability during this last year. Certainly is. Oh, God. Third impact to the neck. That could do it, Riccoboni. One, two. Wow. Showing a lot of fight right there. And that code diamond, that STO planting Gracia. It's one of her signature moves. If you've seen Gia Scott compete, you know that code diamond has delivered her some victories. She told me that every one of those adversities that she has faced is just another jewel in her crown. It's a great way to look at it and a great way. Oh! A great way to think about it. That crown may crumble, though, as Gracia spinning into the ring. Knee to the midsection there. And it's Scott looking for a neckbreaker. Counter by Gracia. Gracia delivers. 
Scott staying on that neck, man. It's a great game plan. I like the way she's staying with it as well. Oh, she loves that neck breaker, that beautiful nightmare. That's her finishing move. Maybe trying to soften the neck up. That's how you do it, though. It's a game plan. You stick with it. Off the ropes. You see Alex is trying to build momentum and being chopped right back down. Well, Grasha is playing Gia's game now, and she's not going to win by playing that game. She has to do what she was doing before. Whoa! Now, sticky move. There's press. I wonder if that's what pink dreams are made of. Getting now Scott, she got it. There you go. Getting Scott down is a feat in and of itself. Mm -hmm. That strong base. And it's Gracia. Irish whip off the ropes, back elbow sends Scott down. That was flush. Whoa! Calf kick driving Scott all the way to the mat. So you see people so used to the crowd, man. She's trying to draw energy. The crowd is not here. Sometimes that works against you. Whoa! Nice. Pink hypnosis could be it. One. Two. <laughs> Just a two count there. She's got to dig deep if she wants to win. Both women have given their all. See who's got something left. Off the ropes, Gracia caught. Scott, back elbow. I don't think Gracia could take any more impacts to the neck. Nice. Whoa, wait a minute, bridge. Two and just a two Ooh. count there. Just a two count there. You she guys was, thought that was it. Yeah, man, yeah, I bought that, man. G was fighting <laughs> out of that one. Wait a minute. Whoa. Beautiful nightmare. Two and three. And that is it. Wow. The winner of this match, Alex Grazia. Great debut from Gia Scott, but it's Alex Gracia, your winner here on Ring of Honor's Women Division Wednesday. Referee Becky Phillips raising the arm, and it was the beautiful nightmare. That neckbreaker that won the bout. Maria, you got to like what you see here. I do, and I wonder if Gia Scott is going to have pink dreams tonight. <laughs> well, I, I, I'd be seeing that move in my sleep. Beautiful neckbreaker, beautiful nightmare, and a beautiful win for Alex Gracia. For Maria, for Caprice, I'm Ian Riccoboni. Thank you so much for watching Ring of Honor's Women's Division Wednesday. Happy wrestling, everybody. Well, that has got to feel great for Alex Gracia. She not only shines in her second ROH match, but she also picks up the victory. Will that be enough for Alex, though, to receive something she said she wants very badly? That sought-after ticket to gold. Well, I think we may find out sooner immediately. Here's Maria with tonight's tournament ticket. Hello everyone, I am Maria Canales Bennett and I am on the board of directors for Ring of Honor Wrestling. Each week we have been giving away tickets to gold and this week I am incredibly excited to give one to Alex Gracia. Alex! Hello, hold on. Hi, can you I... turn on your video? I'd like to see you please. Yes, I'm turning <laughs> it on right now. There it goes. <laughs> and, and now I'm even gladder that you turned on your video because it's just pink. You are just the pink. pink dream. Everywhere yes. you go, it is the pink dream. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, it is so good to see you. And I have to say that I was super impressed with your match with Gia. Um, you guys worked incredibly hard and you definitely showed what the pink dream was all about. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> it was, I was definitely like scared and like anxious going in. So yeah, it, it was everything I could have imagined and more. So I would like to give you a ticket to gold and have you compete in the women's tournament this summer. <laughs> I'm like speechless. <laughs> speechless is okay. Yes. It's okay. Yeah. It's going to be an incredible tournament. Uh, and I am sure that you will have lots to say when you're actually in the tournament and fighting for the next round. Absolutely. Like, it's so crazy how full circle everything has come because, I mean, the first time around when Ring of Honor was trying to set this tournament up, like, I was one of the first names, like, announced in the tournament. And you're just kind of, like, waiting there anxiously mm -hmm. because you're just like, okay, I know there's so much good talent out there and I know a lot has changed in a year. And 
just seeing like the names being announced, like you're so excited for them, but you're like a little bit like heartbroken every time you hear a name announced because you're just like, man, yeah. I really like want one of those names to be me. I really want one of those. But names. one of those names is you. So yay for you. Um, Thank you. And she has it. The Pink Dream, Alex Grasha, is now officially in the ROH Women's Division Championship Tournament this summer. I know that all her Pink Dreamers, as well as fans around the world, will be very happy to see Alex in the ring for this prestigious tournament. Well, that's going to do it for this week's Women's Division Wednesday here on the ROH Wrestling YouTube channel. Join us right back here next Wednesday at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific, for another big episode. So long. Someday, July 11th, Ring of Honor Wrestling presents Best in the World live on pay-per-view. See ROH athletes such as the Briscoe Brothers, Bandito, The Foundation, La Faccion Ingobernable, Violence Unlimited, and many more. World-class competitors will show why they are the absolute best. Championships will be defended, and legacies will be defined. Find out why honor has always been real. Sunday, July 11th, it's Best in the World live on pay-per-view.